What's up, guys? It is day 15, commanding your joy. I know I'm late posting this video. Listen, today is Sunday, guys, and had an amazing time in church and, and all of those good things. And let me see. It's dark outside, but it's like 7.52. And guess what I'm going to do? Because I have not done it yet. It's ride my bike. And I know what some of you are saying is, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to, you know, but I do. And so I want to encourage you to be consistent, even when it's not convenient. There is something that is birthed in us when we're consistent, even when it's not convenient, right? So that's not my message, but I'm so excited because we are more than halfway through this 21 days. And my scripture for today is uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And I know that may be a very odd scripture because it, it's like Paul, right? Speaking and crying out to the Lord saying, take this affliction from me. And God's response is like timeless, right? So every time God speaks, first of all, it's timeless. But this particular time, it says, you know, three times I pleaded with the Lord to relieve me of this, but he answered, my grace is always more than enough. One translation says, my grace is sufficient and my power finds its expression through your weakness. And I started doing just like a really, really small study on this on this particular scripture. And one translation says that God is saying that when you boast about your weakness, but with the understanding that you are crying out to me in faith, it is then that my power can be made manifest in your life. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, that is what we're doing for these 21 days, just being so transparent by saying, listen, guys, you know what? I'm being vulnerable. This is something that I have struggled with and we're making it known. We're not just making it known in the secret place. We're making it known publicly that, hey, this is a struggle of mine. This is a weakness in in, in my life that I need God to fix. And, and heaven, it's like an alarm. It's like a bullhorn to heaven screaming, saying, listen, me, me, Shri, I'm weak. I'm weak in this area. I need you. And, 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 and God like responds. He is responding and he will respond to you. I want to, I want to encourage you to know that the grace of God is sufficient. What does that even mean? There's something about grace that sustains you. And even though you may not feel sustained, <laughs> right? There are days where you feel like you're falling apart. Matter of fact, driving home to do this video, I was listening to a song and it said that what doesn't kill, kill me makes me stronger. And I love that saying. But the reality is that there are certain things that have come up against us that you're right, have not killed us, but it sure has, has had our heart fall to the ground and shadow and shatter in a billion pieces, right? Like I may be still alive, but there's a fraction of me that's dead. And, and so I, if that's you, I want to encourage you that, you know, what doesn't kill you, it does make you stronger in some areas, only if we allow God to come in and mend those broken pieces in us. The only way we're going to beat depression, guys, is if we allow the power of the most high God to come into our most weakest places, like Paul, to say, I'm weak, I'm weak, I need you, Father. I'm crying out to you in my weakness with the expectation that your strength is going to be my strength, that you're going to do something supernatural in me that I can't do on my own that is going to awaken these dead bones, awaken these places in me and cause them to arise. And so I just want to encourage you to, to just hold on to the sufficient grace of God through this season, but with the expectation that as you cry out to him and say, Father, like Paul, I need your help. I need you to break these cycles. I need you to break these things in me. The expectation is that his strength will become your own. And there's one day you're going to wake up and you're going to feel so different. I'm feeling it now. I'm coming alive and I'm prophesying over your life that you will come alive too, that this is not just a me only journey. This is not just for Sheree and Sheree alone. I know without a shadow of a doubt that the father said, if you share this, if you, in your vulnerability and humility and your authenticity, that I will break the yokes of others. So if you would stand with me in faith, I'm standing with you in faith that this thing is not only going to break, but your life is going to turn around for the better. But in all of that, I want you to, to experience the sufficient grace of God like never before. So father, I just bless everyone watching this video. I declare your sufficient grace over their lives in Jesus name. Amen.